Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Revan here and welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be covering the clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator. We all know and love the clipping mask from Photoshop, but it's a bit different in Illustrator. So to help you out, I will explain quickly two techniques on how to use the clipping mask in Illustrator. All right, so you can see both of the end results where they're exactly the same, but there are some major differences which I'll be covering when I explain the technique. So let's get rid of all of this. Let's delete that one. And these are the objects we want to work with. So the assignment is we need to clip all these little objects in the circle. So let's be start. Let's start with technique number one. So we're going to select everything. We're going to make a copy of it. So hold option or alt and click it right over here. And now we have a duplicate. So cool. So we're going to drag it to another layer. So on the top right of your screen, you can see that I'm dragging this red uh, square to another layer. And as you can see, it's now on a different layer. So the left one, the original one is on the on layer two. Let's just recall that. Or re no, and we're gonna call this one the first, first method. There you go. All right, so first method, pretty easy. Uh, you have to make sure that the object you want to clip it in is on the front and you could do it by going to the layers panel and dragging this ellipse, the orange one, to the top like this or you could use a shortcut and I'm a big fan of shortcuts so you're going to click on the ellipse and you're going to press control or command shift and then the right bracket key and now it's on front. All right, you're gonna select everything, so just click and drag. You can also just uh, press behind on the layers panel. You can press over here, and you go to Object, go to Clipping Mask, and Make. The shortcut is Command or Control 7, and now everything is clipped inside the circle. The circle uh, will lose its color, foreground and background color. We're gonna change that. So I press, I'm gonna press Command Z to undo it. And the shortcut to do the clipping mask is Command or Control 7, and you have the same result. All right, so if you want to move the image, um, you can just, the entire thing, you can just click and drag. If you want to move a specific uh, object of the image, you go inside the clip group, this is over here. And for example, we wanna uh, re reschedule this one, we're just gonna press behind that one, and we can move it and it stays clipped and you can move it wherever you want if you want to move it over here. So, okay. If you want to uh, give the circle or the ellipse uh, his color back, you're gonna select that one. You could even, I suggest to put it below uh, on the bottom. So you just click and drag it to the bottom. And on the top left, you can just change the colors to where it was. So we're gonna give it the orange color and we're gonna give it a blue stroke of uh, five. And here you go. So this is technique number one. Um, if you want to se select or move different things, you could also press command or control and click and you can move it around. There you go. So this is pretty much technique one. Everything is grouped inside one clipping group and that's where it is. If I would make a, want to add some things, for example, a square, this is not gonna work. And this is where technique two is gonna come in handy. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go, we're gonna lock this layer. So the top one is left, this one. And we're gonna go back to the original. We're gonna select everything, control C and control or command F to paste it in front. And we're gonna drag it all the way to the top to the second method layer. And we're gonna put it right over here. So the second method is a little bit different. Um, it has benefits. So again, what we want to do is we want to make the circle or the ellipse uh, come to the front. So we're going to select the circle, press command or control shift and the right bracket key to bring it to the front. And we're going to deselect everything. It's really important that nothing in the layer is selected. And why? So, for example, if I would go to the ellipse and select that one and press on the tab over here. So on the layers panel, you have a tab over here. If you click it, that's not what I want. That one. 
Now there is not an option of making a clipping mask. So deselect everything. You're just gonna select that one. Deselect, just the layer selected. And you go to the tab, you're gonna click on make clipping mask and you have the same exact result. So to create the same thing as we have on here, we're gonna go into the layer, we're gonna go to the ellipse, we're gonna drag it to the bottom, we're gonna press behind it to select it, and we're gonna change the colors to the exact same thing we have on top. So an orange color and a blue stroke of five points. We have the same thing. What is the major difference between the two things? Well, first of all, the entire layer is the clip. So it's not just a group in the layer, but the entire layer is the clip. So if I want to move this thing, I just have to click and drag and it's moved. If I move it to the right, it is it stays inside the clipping mask. If I work on, the, on that layer and I want to add something, what we did over here, it's automatically inside of the clipping mask. So if you have a, a big object, which you just want to clip, and you don't need anything else, I would suggest technique number two. If you just want one little piece of your artwork to be in a clipping mask, you can make uh, technique number one, use technique number one to just make a clipping group. So that's the two differences. Um, both techniques have has its benefits and we'll use them specific things, but that's pretty much everything you need to know uh, about the clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator. So my question to you guys, which technique has your preference and why? So the first one where it's a group or the second one where it's the entire layer that is the clip. Let me know in the comments below and I'm very curious which technique has your preference and the why is, I think it's important. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, see you later. Cheers. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.